All right, friends, today I'm out here uh, just off Aldine Bender Road, north of the Beltway, and uh, got this job from the same guy that had the uh, swarm in his old car. So these bees have been in and out of this tire for several years now, uh, but uh, the time has finally come that he's got to get this trail <coughs> get this trailer moved. So this should be a fun one, should be an interesting one. I've never cut a tire before. I've looked up several ways to try to do it. Unfortunately, everything I've found online says every, pretty much every method either works and doesn't work. Um, so I've brought several different weapons and just gonna have to get after it. But you can see they are a busy, busy colony. Um, try to get in a little bit closer here so y'all can really see. They are really just bringing in the pack and a lot of pollen um, and working hard. So I'm hoping with those big cracks in the tire that that means the tire is kind of brittle, that rubber's hard and that I can cut it pretty easy. Um, with some, I brought my chainsaw actually is what I'm gonna try, try with first. But uh, yeah, I just don't know. So I'm gonna try to work on it. If I can't get it done today, I'll have to uh, come back with some different tools and try later. Well, I'm pretty well exhausted already, but let me tell you, the bees are being nice. Look at the activity. Look how much is coming in. They are just clogging that entrance. Um, but uh, so far, I've tried the chainsaw there. It was it seemed like it was going good until I hit the belts, the steel belts inside, and that pretty well stopped it. So I got my angle grinder to cut through the first layer of belts. The wheel on my grinder is too small, so I can't get all the way through the the main tread. the The side wall seems to be pretty easy to cut, but I have a hard time really getting into it because it, it's so soft and pliable that when I try to you know use any force on it, it just budges and uh, bends and moves. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna keep on working, trying to see what I can do here. I've been using a hatchet and a hammer to try to drive it through, and that that seemed to work pretty good to get a cut on the opposite side, but. I don't see any bee activity over there, so it seems it might all be on this side. So I gotta keep going. Well, I've made just a teeny bit of progress. Seems to be, uh, the Sawzall seems to be the best tool for the job, but uh, I can't get my generator started. And I am fast running out of batteries on this cordless one here, so I'm gonna keep cutting with what I've got. And hopefully this battery I've got in hangs in there long enough to, to get the job done. But if not, I'll, I'll probably have to try to just patch it up and uh, call it a day and come back later with fresh batteries or or get my generator going or do something. Just want to give a little update. I did finally get a chunk cut out. But you can see here, this thing's got steel bands in the sidewall too. Most tires don't have steel bands in the sidewall, just in the tread. They have uh, radial bands that go around the outside of the tread, but this has got them in the sidewalls too. So I can't just cut it real easy with a utility knife like everybody else says you ought to be able to. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going. So the uh, metal cutting bandsaw seems to be the trick. I made that, that second cut there I just did in about 30 seconds maybe, so as long as these batteries hold up, I should be good to go. So I got one more chunk cut out over here, but my saw, my battery pretty much went toast, went dead. Um, and I can still see the combs go quite a bit down on that side, and the other end, you can just see it kind of ends right in there as far as building new combs. So yeah, they just followed the contour of this tire right around. So that makes these very big, long, awkward shaped combs. But uh, I'm gonna keep working on them best I can and keep Wrapping stuff into frames over here. All right, I got them running now. I uh, haven't found the queen yet, but notice they're starting to orient to my box up there. It's pretty good to be able to set it right on top of the tire. See the whole outside of the tire is covered in bees. I've cut out what combs I could. There's still some over here that I'm having a hard time getting to just because of how I've got to try to reach in there and pull them out. But I've got pretty much a box full already anyway, so I'm happy. Um, and I just sprayed a drop of bee quick down either side inside the tire and got them running, got them moving, got them flying. And uh, now I'm just kind of taking it slow, looking for that queen to see. They're pretty well starting to orient to the box on their own and starting to uh, move into the box. They're running up the tire and into the box. So, you know, I'll, shoot, I could prob probably just spray the inside of the tire real quick to be quick and go home and come back tonight, then I'll be in the box. But I don't want to take that gamble. You know, got to find that queen. So I'm going to keep on looking. There she is, folks. Well, I didn't think I was ever going to get her, but I got her. She almost snuck past me, too. You know, this job reminds me a lot of the... Uh, that broken off tree I did earlier this year because, well, for one, I don't have any power and my generator wouldn't start. Um, so I'm having to make the bees march. And luckily, uh, luckily, I was able to just set the hive right up on top of the tire like this. It worked very well. Uh, so what I've been doing is just, I mean, I've been down here on my knees for the last hour and a half. Just every so often, I just spray just a little dab of bee quick there and a little dab of bee quick here. And they were all just running up over this tire the whole time, running up, running up, running up. They're all bearding up on the outside of the box. A lot of them are going in. Um, but man, 
I mean, this this is a big colony. This is a big, big colony. Uh, so that deep might not be enough space for them. Now, I've got the medium over there, but uh, I don't know if I can fit it up underneath this trailer. And I want to leave this hive right here uh, just so they can orient to it. It's, it's pretty close. Their original entrance is right there on the tire. So, uh, you know, to leave the box right here is perfect for them to reorient to. But anyway, now that i got this here queen, I'll go get her... Uh, go get her marked up, get her put in a release cage and, and strapped in the frame, and then I'm gonna do some heavy be quick on this tire and I'm gonna head home. Isn't that nice? I uh, got the queen caged up and she is in the box, strapped in the frame uh, in a release cage. And I wanted to add space because it's such a big colony, I didn't think that deep was enough for them. Well, I couldn't fit the medium box on top with it sitting up on top of the tire, but these tires are spaced just right. And I was able to stick it between them and span them, so, uh, Reminds me even more of that broken tree job where I had the box balanced up on uh, <laughs> balanced up on a couple of limbs and boards. I don't even remember how I pulled it off, but I had it done. But this actually looks this actually looks pretty neat. Get to thinking if I ever have a junkyard of my own with a bunch of tractor trailers sitting around, I'll just put a bunch of bait hives just like this between the tires. Who knows? I'll probably never actually do that because I'll probably never have a junkyard. But hey, not a bad idea. Anyway, pretty proud of that. Thought I'd share it. But we are packed up, loaded up. The bees are orienting to the box just fine. So I'm headed home. I'll come back tonight after dark and pick up these and the other ones I did this morning.